Early Access provided by EA FireMonkeys, presented by EA Creator Network. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to take you on a tour of the castle I've created using a lot of the items from the Mysterious Masquerade live event. Now, I was very disappointed with the house template that we unlocked in that live event, so I decided to build my own one that felt a bit more appropriate for the items that we unlocked. So I've built it on the haunted house template to give it that spooky feel that I felt was missing from the previous one. Obviously it looks better at night time but it's a bit harder to see so I've switched it to daytime so we can actually see what's going on. One thing that's very difficult to create in this game is a castle because you are quite restricted with your building. So. The only thing I've been able to do is make turrets to make it look a bit more like a castle and then I've added the balcony in places so we've got rid of the roof. The top balcony really is meant to be a roof, you can't actually access that. Let's take a look inside now. So I wanted to create what I thought the live event prize was trying to be, which is a communal building that has like dance events and grand evening outs where everyone dresses up in their masquerade finery. This is the entrance to the building, so this is where everyone's going to come in and they're going to see the grand staircase right in front of them. On each side we have a door that leads into a toilet, so there's a toilet this side and there's also one the other side which makes use of some of these turrets we have going on. There's also a coat rack on each side so they've got places to store their coats so they don't have to take it into the main dance arena. So this is one of the toilets. It's just a sink and a toilet because it is just for the guests to use when they arrive. Now I'm not going to show you the rest of the ground floor yet, we're going to head upstairs first. It will make sense, so let's head upstairs. So this is the next thing the guests will see. At the top of the stairs we've got that lovely fireplace. There's a place to sit and we've also got a painting on the wall. I really wanted to put that painting actually above the staircase but it wouldn't let me place it there which was a shame. We've got two other toilets up here so there's plenty of toilets and these ones are closer to the main function room. Let's just call it a function room. So once they have used all the toilets we can head down these corridors there is a balcony in the middle that goes over part of the downstairs we haven't looked at yet. But you can see down there we've got a dining table. We'll take a look at that in a little while. Both the corridors are exactly the same. And they both lead from the landing into the function room. So this is where all the guests will gather. This is the main room. So in here we have the classical dance floor, there's seating around the edge, we've also got the bar area and the tasting table there, so something to drink and something to eat when needed. There's also a door frame on each side that leads out to the balcony and I've placed a few seats out here. I'm not going to show you the third floor because it is basically just a balcony that Sims cannot access because it is meant to be the roof. So we don't need to look up there. We're going to head back downstairs now and I'm going to explain the rest of the ground floor. Let's head through this door frame here and this leads to another corridor. 
So at the end of the corridor we've got another picture, so that doesn't lead anywhere. But there is a door frame that leads out to the patio area outside. And this is where the dining table is. I really love this table. This is one of the prizes in the live event. Check out my Mysterious Masquerade live event prizes video to see all of them in more detail. And that is all of the castle that the public have access to. You can see over here we've got a sneaky hidden door. So this door leads to the private quarters of the Sim who owns this castle. So if we head down this corridor, we've got another hidden door here that leads to a room with a bookcase in. I just thought I needed to fill it up with something. And then at the end of the corridor we have another hidden door that leads into the living room. I wanted to make it fit in with the rest of the build, sort of give it a spooky feel to it. But also I felt that it needed a bit of colour as well because the masquerade items aren't particularly spooky in themselves. They are, some of them quite colourful, so it definitely needed to be sort of the same. You also may have noticed that there isn't a TV in this living room. We've got the organ for entertainment and that is it because this is meant to be a castle. We don't need electronic equipment in here. Well, not unnecessary electronic equipment anyway. We do still have kitchen equipment, for example, which we can see now because this is the kitchen. I think I actually forgot to finish decorating it. It <laughs> looks a bit bare really, but it does have the essentials that we need in a kitchen. It's just missing the finishing touches. Let's head back through the living room now and into the bedroom. The bedroom is quite dark really. I couldn't decide on the wallpaper for this room so I took forever to decide on black which is a bit disappointing. But over this side we've got the bookcases and a seat. Still no TV in the bedroom either, we have a drafting table instead. And then through this door frame we have the walk-in wardrobe. These quarters are designed for one sim, the door to the bathroom is in the bedroom. So it's quite difficult to see the bathroom, but you can just about see the sink there. From this angle we can see the toilet and the shower. And there's a hand dryer in there, I don't know why I put that in, that's not essential electronic equipment. Let's forget that's in there. Overall I'm quite pleased with how this castle has turned out. I mean I do wish it would look more like a castle but it's very difficult to do on The Sims Free Play. But I feel like this showcases those live event items way better than the one you actually unlock in the live event. If you've not seen my Mysterious Masquerade house tour yet then take a look at that and you'll understand what I mean.
let's take a look at this castle from above now to get a better idea of the layout. And that was my Masquerade Castle tour on The Sims Freeplay. The mysterious Masquerade live event will begin on the 28th of October. Check out my live event prizes video to take a look at all the prizes in more detail. Thanks for watching. Bye!